Hey guys, Randoms here. Welcome to a video I thought I'd do. I don't know how long this one will last. It is Song Machine Season 1. Final thoughts, just, you know, kind of, you know, step back and really appreciate what Gorillaz did, as uh, what Gorillaz brought to us, and just kind of talk about everything about Season 1 of Song Machine. We'll probably do this for every season, and probably everything that Gorillaz does, so when, uh, like, if the movie, when the movie comes, final thoughts, and then we'll keep going down the road. Whoa. So... Uh, I don't really have a script, I just have words, and I try, try to just go off of it, so let's start with the little intro. Um, we had the now now, and that was pretty cool, however you, uh, or however you take the now now, you liked it, you hated it, whatever, we had that. I don't know anyone who hates the now now. Well, they say it's kind of a low tier album, but anyway. Then we had Reject False Icons, which is cool, I wish I could have seen that in theaters. I think they showed something that was not in theaters, but they released it anyway later down the road. I could have sworn something was shown only in theaters. I'm not sure. Uh, and then, yeah, I didn't get to watch it. I was expecting in the Gorilla Store to buy a copy, like on Blu-ray or something, but they didn't do that. They, they could have done that, sold that, the movie, the movie in um, on Blu-ray in the Gorilla Store. They could have done that, but it's okay. It's for free on YouTube, so. That's pretty cool. Uh, sucks for people who paid a ticket, but at the same time, it's a whole nother experience. You're paying for the experience for the theater type of, uh, you're paying for the theater experience when you're going into, uh, when you pay a ticket for that. But then on YouTube, unless you have a, a home theater, I guess. But anyway, uh, we had Reject False Icons. That was cool. Then we had Song Machine. No one knows. We, we just seen, you know, uh, Russell, every, every every character saying their separate things. Like, by the way, I found the last part of the machine. Or they were talking about a machine. You know, what's this gonna be? Boom! The machine is built. I think they showed the machine first, or they showed the trailer. Which when I first saw it, I was like, "Whoa! What is this? Is it gonna be a series?" Which that's what I thought Song Machine was a series, but it was Momentary Bliss, the trailer, which was awesome. And it came out and it was awesome every every time I drove. Bluetooth connect. Play uh, Momentary Bliss. And I do that every time. Uh, every time we had a new song for Song Machine, I played it. And I have the CD and I just pump that in. So this leads me to the first thing. So that was the intro leading up to Song Machine. And it's cool. So now let's talk music. The music in Song Machine. I already did a tier list. I just want to say if you've seen that tier list, there's a couple of changes. But let me just tell you, Chalk, tab wait, chalk Tablet Towers. Uh, the little meme. You like the little meme I did earlier? I posted. Um, S tier. I now confirm it S tier. It's just... It's my song. We all have our own songs that we love. Towers. Chalk Tablet Towers is S tier. Hands down. I can't believe I put an A tier. But the thing was, as I said in that video when I was uh, listening to the new songs that came out. What was that? Lost Chord and then boom. We had everything else. I... Uh, it's hard when, when you listen to music for the first time because... Sometimes music has to grow on you, especially for Gorilla songs. They definitely need to grow, especially for me. They have to grow for me. But the music in Song Machine is really good. People make memes saying uh, humans had features and Song Machine had features, but Song Machine's allowed and it's all good. Uh, I like humans. Um, we'll get to that when we get to it in the tier list and all that. And Song Machine's fine too. I don't mind features, but let's be honest, when it's just Damon. And no feature, it's usually a really good song. Um, or it just happens, it just cracks with people, you know, they, they love it. When it's only Damon on a song, that's what I noticed. It's the best. For me, I don't mind, as long as the feature doesn't kill a song, or... Eh, whatever. I, I don't think I have an example of that, but, you know, some features are hit or miss. That's basically it, but with music, Song Machine is really good. I mean, some people say, oh, you know, after... You know, Song Machine brought music that people said, oh, this is my favorite song out of every Gorilla's song out there. You know, I heard that for Pac-Man. People really like Pac-Man and all that. But um, I don't know if this is catching, but Murdoch, I wish they did Pac-Man, the Pac-Man theme version for Murdoch. That would have been funny. But they went Desolé. I already did a video talking about all that. But the music in Song Machine is really good. And I hope, like, uh, this is a, a life, kind of a life... Uh, Life lesson, life word, whatever you want to take it, everyone should follow this. Same with gorillas. I'll, I'll start with gorillas as the, as this example. Always try to top yourself and do better. Um, and that's for, it could be the said for for us in real life. You know, try to always do better 
at whatever you do, a hobby, anything, etc. But for Gorillas, I really hope that season two is strong. Um, the only word we have, and I, I'll keep saying it, I always say it in a couple videos. Damon says, I got season, or I got episode one, season two, Song Machine. And I'll tell you, it's a cracker. That's what he always says. I'm, I'm still attaching to that quote that he said, that those words. So I'm just waiting for that first episode. So we'll see. Could it be the Tame Impala? Are they going to go with that first? We'll see. Um, but the music in Song Machine is really good. I forgot if I was talking about something else and I just totally went off went off track there. But in the end, the music in Song Machine is really strong. And the album as a whole, it beats its top. You know, I don't want to say anything, but it's probably top three for almost everyone. Song Machine, not because it's new. It's really good. It's honestly really good. So then next we I put here art. The art for phase six. Season two, people say, phase, is this still phase six or seven? Because they look a little different. Um, the art in this phase, but the art in this phase, there was some art, but it was mainly for, um, anim it really went to the animation, huh? Because I'm just trying to think of, a. okay, the covers were cool. Yeah, the covers. So Momentary Bliss was uh, the gorilla's characters, Russell coming out of his nose or his ear. I forgot which one. I think it was his uh, ear. It's coming out of his ear. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's also featuring the feature slaves and then uh what is that i've got the slow thigh slow thigh the, like tattooed i forgot who's who sorry if i'm mixing it up but that one feature who's a uh, tattooed on him really cool uh that cover the covers are cool the only one that was kind of actually no friday the 13th was pretty cool because the way they look kind of haunting and then now they're just really <laughs> They're beating the, if you know that, that, uh, saying they're really beating the dead horse with that animation, just <clears throat> keep, keep using that animation. Or I don't know how to explain it unless you know that term beating a dead horse. Um, but the art, I really like the covers, um, song machine, just taking a look at my, the almanac. Well, that's the almanac. We're talking about song machine art. Uh, the covers were cool because, um, I don't know if in the. I don't think in the past they ever did it, but each song and song machine, almost all of them, had a cover. And that was a pretty cool idea. Uh, I'm just trying to think of other art for song machine. If you see my other video, the one I'm thinking of, of course, because it has the founding fathers in the background, uh, is when they're all there with Hew Jamie Hewlett and uh, Damon Alborn, and the other characters are there too, just kind of posing. Looks really cool. Um, but that's it for and the and the posters were cool too. Uh, art for this phase. I mean, it was solid. Do I have a favorite art phase? Uh, I mean, I'd say phase one. I kind of like phase one for just how more cartoony they look. They looked more cartoony back then than they do now, in my opinion. But if I were to pick a favorite, I guess season uh, season one. Phase one is probably my favorite art style. It's just, I like how they look. Then we move into lore. Is it James Chairman? Karen? James Ch is James Chairman? Is, is it one of you guys out there? We always went back and forth. Every time there's a trailer, I drop my trailer reaction, and we always say, no lore. There's no lore. And then after about Pac-Man or so, I just gave up, and luckily I, I lowered my expectations because there's no lore whatsoever in Song Machine. It lacks. This is like F tier, F to D tier uh, for lore because there's really nothing. I mean, let's be honest. The tweets, the Murdoch debunks, he stopped after Ares for some reason. Um, I think it was Ares he stopped doing the debunk series. <clears throat> but the lore, it is non-existent in this. But, like I always say, we're going to get that movie. So I think that movie's going to make up for it. But what's it going to be about? Every phase? Are they going to fill all the... Are we going to fill everything that we've done in the past and then everything new is going to be... Uh, now we're going to do lore? But we'll see. Um, but for lore, it was nothing. It's just, you know, our characters having a good time, I guess. Then the second to last thing I have here is merch. I bought a lot of merch, mainly posters. Um, shirts? I'm pretty sure I got shirts. Let me take a look around here. Um, okay, the white, you know, the white sweatshirt with noodle on it. Although the print was really lackluster on that. Um, oh, that wasn't really for Song Machine. Dang it. The only thing I could think of is um, Pac-Man. With the Pac-Man red shirt, that was really cool. That's about all I can think of. Everything else was stickers, and it was mainly poster, which I really liked the whole thing with the posters. Each um, 
Each episode is a new poster, limited limited edition, as you can always see behind me. I still need more frames. I still have a print four, Pac-Man, and Pagans. I still have those to put up, but the posters cost a bit. I'm, I'm saving for Fred Perry, the Fred Perry collaboration. Follow my Twitter. Uh, I talked about it over there. And um, what's the other thing? Uh, when they were saying... You're gonna soon gonna get to dress up like your gorillas characters. Did that? Did they mean the Fred Perry? I hope not, because gorillas in their own animation with their own clothes looks a lot better than the Fred Perry, in my opinion. Like, uh, well, the Black Planet with a 2D right here. You can purchase that one, um, but for uh, I, I mean, I can't really think for song machine merch, just posters and posters and a couple shirts. That's about it, but I hope that when they said you could dress like your favorite character, that uh, it's going to be on the Gorilla Store, and we can dress, I mean, who, I mean, iconic, an iconic uh, merch idea to wear, to, you know, if we're going to wear clothes like Gorillas, Murdoch's pa pants, or pa not panties, but uh, undies from Pac-Man, um, I'd probably buy them, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, that's about it. I can think of for merch for some reason. Just the posters always stuck with me. The posters and then stickers. I don't really care for stickers. Then we have these figures, but we're talking just, just the Gorilla Store with Song Machine. Oh, they did the, the, the white t-shirt with the basic print. I didn't really like that. Um, but that's all I can think of for merch. But merch was good. It was good for Song Machine. Then I have here the last thing. I just put anything else that's on my mind. I don't really have a script here. Because um, we're just talking Song Machine. I just want to say... For my final thoughts, thank you, Gorillas. Song Machine is an amazing idea, whoever came up with it. That's probably stupid. Gorillas came up with it, but was it Damon or who brought the idea? I think he said it in an interview or something, but I just want to say thank you, Gorillas. Um, bit con you're a bit controversial right now with your NFTs. I still don't know what that is. Something about they have to make something. It requires energy. And then Plastic Beach was, was for nothing because they're using NFTs. I have no clue, but I can somewhat understand it. I just can't explain it. But uh, I just want to say, Song Machine is a good idea. Your limited prints are cool. Your merch, let me help you out with some merch, huh? Let me help you out with some merch ideas. Because I want Noodles Monster Gloves from Desolet. I want that. That's just on my mind. I mean, I admit, would you guys buy that? Noodles Noodles Monster Gloves from uh, Desolet? I mean, I think that's a good merch idea. Call me. Call me, girls. But anyway, um, thank you so much for Song Machine. It's such a good idea. We're getting music, animation, just no lore. We need lore. I mean, after the movie, you can do lore, but it's like we get, we get the movie, but what about after? You know, for now it's okay because we're getting the movie, but then I don't know. We'll see. But Song Machine, I love it. It's a really good idea. We're, we're getting music fast, animations, merch. We don't have to wait a couple years for just an album drop. Damon can do what he wants, when he wants, when they're all ready. Um, Jamie Hewlett, thank you for creating these amazing characters. I think the way Damon and Jamie found themselves was in a hotel. They, sh they shared the same room. I suppose I thank God that they just happened to meet and they created gorillas. And now we have these characters. I can make uh, these videos about these amazing characters. Uh, I didn't really do a character video, though. Um, I'd just say that Murdoch's my favorite character. But, but you know, I just want to thank, thank you, Gorilla, so much for the music. Everything you put in the song machine, Jamie, for your 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 artistic um, abilities. Uh, I don't want to say his patience, but his. Uh, I heard he had a breakdown or something like that during Lost Chord, because it was too much. The song machine, like he just had to keep going with animation. Um, I'll admit, if I ever said anything in the past, I'll, I will now be patient. I want to take all that back if I ever said anything, because uh, that man needs a. He, he deserved that break, but now he's back in it. And hopefully we see a little, another teaser image from him. We'll see. But thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, everyone who works with gorillas. <clears throat> they may not get credited too, but I want to credit you guys as well. Like, I don't know his name, but he, he's with uh, Damon quite often. Look at Song Machine Season 1, Episode 1, Momentary Bliss. It's the guy talking to Damon. He's like, uh, keep your keep your hands away from my pockets or something like that. The last time, you remember last time, 
Last time we were greedy, so greed is not good or something like that. That was pretty cool. Um, but the guy talking to Damon, he's somewhat involved. He's in uh, Jack Frost icons too. He's he's cool. I like him. But everyone that works with gorillas, thank you. You guys are amazing. We love gorillas. Um, that's it. I mean, that's all I have to say. Song Machine was such a good idea. I said that a million times, but it is. Leave a comment below, guys, what you think of Song Machine. What's the future for Song Machine? Uh, my prediction, four seasons, four to five seasons. I'll be happy with four. Um, that's my prediction, because they said, we'll just keep going until we have nothing to do. But then if you have nothing to do, you end Song Machine, and they're probably going to take a long break, because you just... Song Machine is uh, to, to make whatever you want on the fly if you have an idea. But if you ran out of ideas, they're probably going to take a break. And then if something happens, you know, some of the albums send messages. So does something have to happen for them to make an album to send the message? I don't know. But Song Machine, love it. I hope it keeps going strong. Bless everyone at Gorillaz. Um, and Kong Studios, thank you Murdoch Nichols, Russell Hobbs, Noodle. She, we never still don't know Noodle's official name, huh? I don't know. Uh, and uh, 2D or Stu Pot, Stuart Pot. And that's it, yeah, right? He doesn't have anything else? We'll thank the fictional characters too. Thank you. Um, and 2D, don't forget Murdoch next time. If you're, if you're going on a boat trip, Desole, don't forget Murdoch, okay? But anyway, this was amazing. I love Song Machine. I'm so glad that we're getting more. Yeah, I, I mean, my prediction's way gone. It, it ain't happening anytime soon, it seems, for season two. But I want to say... I, I made that video, but I want to say now, three months from now, from this video, we should have episode one or something for Song Machine. So we will see in the future, guys. I hope you like, subscribe. Tell me what you appreciate about Gorilla Song Machine or Gorillas as a whole. Share the video. We have been growing recently. Thank you for the growth. And um, follow Twitter because... Uh, you know, if, I, if I'm not filming anything, I might say, what do you guys want? So the whole, the whole reason this was okay is because on Twitter, people said, hey, we, we'd like to see it. So here you go. Thank you guys so much for the support. Love you. We'll see you guys in the future videos to come. Peace out.